Hello again everybody and welcome back to Fujit's Blitz and today we're going to have a look at the T-3485 Rudy, the Russian Tier 7 medium tank. It's a premium tank and it's currently in the stores. This tank has done the round a few times, it was last seen I believe in the Black Friday sale. For those of you who don't know, it actually comes from a Polish television program called Four Tank Men and a Dog, which is quite famous in Eastern Europe. And the tank itself is effectively a modified T-34, a Polish modified. But less about that, that's what the beast looks like. It is effectively a T-34-85 with some cool markings and some extra fuel drums. The tank itself, well, damage-wise, you're going to be knocking out 200. Rate of fire is just over 13 rounds a minute. Penetration is not too bad. Armor is, well, it's a T-34-85. Speed and rotation are pretty high. Hit points, you've got 1,100, which is a lot more than your tier 6 T-34-85. View range is 275 meters, near as damn it. Camo profile, just below average. HP is not the only difference between this and the tier 6. We now look at the DPM. On this tank, you get 2,654, which is considerably more than the Tech Tree Tier 6, which is only 1,722. The differences don't stop there, however. Reload time here is 4.5 seconds, whereas on the Tier 6, it's almost 7 seconds. You have the same gun, so you have the same penetration um, on all the shells, and you have the same damage as you do on the tech tree version at tier 6. Those are by no means the only differences. The aim time on this version is 3.7 seconds whereas in the tier 6 tech tree it's just over 2 seconds. The dispersion on this tank is 0 0.330, on the tier 6 it's 0 0.335. Big difference on depression however, here it's 8 degrees, on the tier 6 it's only 7 degrees. Engine wise, well, this one is actually lighter, um, but it's the same speed, it's the same engine. So what about the armor on this beast? Well, to be honest with you, it's still a T-3485. Okay, it has more hit points, but it has the same armor profile as your bog standard. Tier 6 Tech Tree T-3485, which means when you stick it into Armor Inspector facing off against a Tiger P, as you can see there, it's pretty wide open. Okay, it's not a bad side scraper, but there's a lot of green on that front and on that turret. But what's the game style like? Well, it is different to a T-3485 in a lot of respects. This tank is basically a T-3485 on steroids, and it's quite versatile. It has the mobility of a T-3485, which is nice. You can throw this thing around the battlefield. It struggles to pen in some quarters. As you can see there, it's struggling to pen that VK, but generally the gun is not too bad. But don't forget, this is the same gun you get on the tier six version. But no different, it's exactly the same gun. What is different is obviously that reload time. I mean, that does make a big difference. But your pen values and your, demo, and your damage values are exactly the same. Same as your speed, it's no different. Okay, you've got a few more hit points, but you've got the same armor profile. However, this is a lovely tank. I mean, it really is a nice tank. And it's currently in the stores in two packages. You can get the tank with an avatar or a garage slot and nine equipment unlocked for 6,500 gold, which is not a bad price considering. Or you can get just the tank in the garage slot for 5,500 gold, but you're still going to have to buy those equipments. And, you know, for a thousand gold, if I was you, I would save my credits if you've got 6,500 gold and, you know, you're looking at this tank because you like playing tier 7. I'd go for the 6,500 version personally. I would rather have that equipment unlocked than spend my credits. And you're going to spend over a thousand gold in the credits in any event to unlock all the equipment. Once you get this tank, you have quite a solid tier 7 medium. Okay, it can struggle penetration wise against the tier 8 tanks, but 
it's a beautiful tank at tier 6 and it's a beautiful tank at tier 7. The T3485 is a good tank at tier 6 in its own right. This tank with that extra HP, that much better reload and that better DPM is an even better tank and you know when you're in a tier 6 game it's a beautiful tank to play because you can just throw it around the battlefield I mean the gun is pretty good okay your aim time as you can see here is is, is not that great but I can perma track this poor sod in place and we can we can have some good fun I like this tank I mean I like the T34 series anyway but I love this tank I mean I, I, I've always said that this really should be the basis of the T3485 um, and you know the, 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 this, this version, this premium version should be different in maybe armor or engine. Unfortunately it's not, um, it's you know it's, it's basically just got a better reload uh, and better DPM than the, uh, than the Tech Tree version. Aside from that okay the hit points do help but the armor is the same as I say but I do like it I mean it's a tank you can throw around the battlefield but you can't throw it around too much because you will get hurt I mean the armor isn't exactly brilliant as we saw and these tier 8s and other tier 7s can hurt it a lot and this is a tier 8 game effectively and you know you would think oh it's gonna struggle to an extent it does but like all tanks it's how you play them it's not just you know a lot of people rely upon the tank and forget about their gameplay and what they should or shouldn't do in order to get the most out the tank and it always amazes me that so many players don't bother to look at either Blitzhanger its overall stats in the game garage or even go on to Armour Inspector to have a look at it. I mean, you can even go on to Blitz Stars and do tank compare. The main thing about these tanks, guys, is you need to understand them. And once you understand them and you know their strengths and you know their weaknesses, you will play the game and the tank a lot better and a lot wiser. And, and that's the trick with, with this game. And that's the trick with these tanks. There's no point in me trying to face off with a KV-4 there. I know that. I mean, the KV-4 is going to annihilate me. He's got strong armor. I haven't got the pen to go through that armor. I need to find another tactic. Now, I know there's a TD hanging around somewhere. The KV-4 is on half his hit points. If I can get round the back of him into that vulnerable engine area, I may be able to put shots in. And there we go. He's more focused on the T-49, quite rightly so. It allows me to use my gun elevation and his lack of gun depression to sit down here and just smack him in the rear. And I only do over 2,000 damage. Okay, I just track him at this one, but I get away with it. He doesn't shoot me. He gets wasted. There's the TD, and there goes the TD. 2,290 damage in that game. Didn't cap a base, didn't kill anything. Not setting the world on fire, but I get a second class and a shed load of credits. That makes me happy. This is the last game, again on Canal. And this is my friend Clan Colonel X of the Clan Chop 2. Okay, so this game is a bit older. Uh, but it's still this year, and it, when it, it, it's after it came out in the Black Friday sale. I mean, this was, I believe, February of this year. But the tank hasn't been nerfed or buffed since then, so you, you're looking at exactly the same tank. And he's going to do exactly what I just did. This is, he's in a tier 7, tier 8 game as well, and he is going to bide his time. He knows the strengths and the weaknesses of the tank. It's got that extra degree of gun depression, which does help. It allows you to sit back like this and just pope over the top and hopefully get some shots in. The aim time, okay, it is a bit of a pain, but once you get used to it, you know, the gunner isn't as wild as you think. But the trick when you're playing most tanks is patience is a virtue. I know you cannot always be patient, especially when tanks are pushing, but patience is a virtue in this game. You go rolling in as a YOLO and you're going to get punished. I mean, there's some big tanks out there. I mean, that KV-1S could really hurt this poor Rudy. 
even though it's a tier 6 and it's got a big gun and this has got thin armor there's a t3485 tech tree version there was a t3485 tech tree version don't get me wrong i mean like i said i mean i think this tank is beautiful and if you like the t34 line then i would say this is a tank that you really should have in your garage the price isn't that bad with all that equipment unlocked 6500 gold for a strong tier 7 medium tank isn't too bad in my opinion but that's just my opinion i'm not going to sit here and tell you what you should do or what you shouldn't do with your gold it's a beautiful tank there's nothing wrong with the tank okay you may worry about the gun because it's still the bog standard t3485 tier 6 gun but it will serve okay if you know how to utilize it and as you see there you're able to smack an is you're not going to be doing oodles of damage i agree but with that fast reload you can get a lot of dpm down there i mean it's over 2000 dpm guys that's not bad it doesn't always struggle to pen if you hit it in the right place and this is the trick as i say so if you're looking for a decent tank and you're looking for a decent tier 7 medium tank that earns some good credits i would recommend this one i would turn around and say yeah it's worth the investment you know 6500 it's a tank you are likely to roll out in quite a few times it's not one of those tanks that you will buy and then it will sit in your garage forever in a day collecting dust rudies are quite popular the reason they're popular is because it is a t3485 but buffed it's a t4485 that's taken a couple of steroids and been to the gym but it's still got the same punch unfortunately it needs to sort of go out there it's it's more of a welter weight t34 rather than a heavyweight you still get light punches but you get pummeled quickly by them unlike your heavyweights where you've got one massive punch and then you have to wait a bit and that's why i like this tank it's versatile it's user friendly and you can have good fun in it and you can make a lot of credits at the same time and who doesn't like making credits and you can see it's a you know clan colonel x is doing a similar gameplay to what i just did on canal he's being cautious he's using you know he knows the strengths and the weaknesses of the tank and he's doing exactly what you should do and he's now at 2591 damage he set that poor su 152 on fire and he finally takes him out this is how you play the game it's not just with this tank with virtually all the tanks take your time pick your targets and nurture and protect your tank and you will find you will have a lot more success on the battlefield and this is you know with the rudy as you can see you know it's not going to struggle to pen that is from this angle and he should get another kill oh no he doesn't unfortunate that's a still a high roll though for a rudy maybe this time boom yes there he goes four kills 3092 damage he's blocked 470 this is a beautiful game and this is how you know the rudy loves to play it loves to be in these type of positions it's now going to roll up behind the tiger smack straight into the back end of the tiger use that mobility track him in place boom 3593 damage four kills beautiful game and a wow deserved mastery 70,000 credits i mean that's just brilliant and i'd like to thank my friend clan colonel x of chop 2 for kindly sharing his replay that has been the rudy it is currently in the stores as i said 6500 for the tank the garage the avatar etc etc and all the equipment unlocked or 5500 for just the tank and the garage slot i've been fujit um, i hope that's been informative by all means comment and everything below if you haven't yet please press subscribe it's a beautiful thing to do 
You can send replays to me at fujitsblitz at gmail.com or join my Discord server where you can upload them even quicker. Don't forget, you can also follow me on Facebook, Twitter and Instagram. And until the next time, I will say my usual stuff. Stay safe out there, have fun on the battlefield and happy tanking. Because, you know, that's what it's all about. Having fun and being happy.